Hey guys, it's Jasma, and today we're going to make a cinnamon twist roll. This is a cinnamon roll with a twist. So this was inspired by a Chinese bun that is twisted, rolled up, and then steamed, and usually eaten as a savory food. So I thought it would be fun to combine it with the cinnamon roll because I really like the technique that was used to make this and the result that came out afterwards. This is a really fun process to make these buns and they also turn out really pretty as well. And I think foods that look visually appealing and taste delicious is makes it a lot more appetizing. So let's get started. Today for my bread base I'm using my super soft bread. I'm going to work through the process quite quickly today but if you want to see the video in full detail I will link it in the description down below or in the eye above in the corner. This is a really good bread on its own as well so I really suggest you to try it out. Now this bread is a little bit different from what you've seen before. It requires a tangzhong base, which allows the bread to be super soft and moist after it is baked. First, we're going to make the base. Add water and flour to a pot and stir until smooth. Then turn on the heat to medium and continue cooking it until it becomes a thick paste. Transfer it out into a clean bowl and let it cool. Cover it with plastic wrap and place it into the fridge until we need to use it. Then in a stand mixer bowl, add in the flour and dry active yeast. Stir it until it combined. I'm using dry activate yeast so it doesn't have to be activated beforehand. So add in some warm milk along with an egg and continue mixing on low until it forms a ball. Then add in the chilled base into the mixture along with the butter. The butter should be nice and soft. This makes it a lot easier to combine and also add in some salt. And continue mixing it for about 5 to 10 minutes until it forms a nice and smooth dough and it is clean from the sides. Grease the bowl with some cooking spray or oil, add the dough into the bowl and cover it and allow it to rise for about an hour until it has doubled in size. While the dough is rising, I'm going to mix together the cinnamon filling. So this is a really typical cinnamon roll filling. It just consists of softened unsalted butter. Make sure this is really nice and soft or you would have lots of difficulty mixing it in with the rest of the ingredients. Also add in the brown sugar. This is light brown sugar, granulated sugar, and ground cinnamon. Mix everything together. This mixture is a lot thicker and drier than a regular cinnamon roll filling because later on we're going to spread this out inside of the dough and then we're going to twist it. If there's too much butter inside of this mixture and it's too runny, then it's going to squirt out and it won't actually stay inside of the rolls. So it is quite thick. This has now reached a spreadable consistency, so we could start working with the dough. My dough has finished rising. It took about an hour. It is now doubled in size, so we can start to work with it. I'm going to be making my twists on top of my surface today. Um, if you're doing that, also make sure it is nice and clean. So to prevent it from sticking, I have some all-purpose flour here. We're just going to flip the dough out. You can see it's nice and soft. I'm going to sprinkle some more flour on top. Then grab a rolling pin and we're going to roll this out. You want to roll it out into a very long rectangle. Okay. Once you have a nice and long rectangle, we can spread it on the cinnamon filling. So this is a little bit too thick for you to spread. You can microwave it a little bit just to melt that butter so it's a little bit easier. But if you mix it well enough, it should be nice and spreadable. So to make the process easier, don't dump it all, all in one spot because then you'll have to spread it out. I like to distribute it kind of all over the place and then spread it out like that. And then just take a little butter knife and spread it out nice and evenly. You want a pretty thin, even layer. Leave about half an inch on the edges so that the buns can close up. Try not to disturb the dough on the bottom too much. All right, I have spread my filling over the entire rectangle, leaving a little bit of space on the edges so that this whole thing can close up. And now this is usually where you would typically roll up the roll, cut it into pieces, and then call it a day. But we're going to do a little bit differently here to make the twist rolls. Pretend that there is three pieces here. There's going to be three flaps, and we're going to fold it over each other. So in the end, we'll end up with one long rectangle with three layers in the middle. Fold the flap of dough up about two-thirds of the way, leaving about another third uncovered. And be gentle when you're handling the dough because it is very soft and you don't want to tear it. 
Press everything down to make sure that it's an even layer because you want the, all the rolls to come out the same size. And then fold the other flap over this flap. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the surface just to once again prevent everything from sticking. So now to cut the dough into pieces, I'm going to be making 12 rolls today. You can make as many as you want. Um, so we're going to cut this into 12 pieces and then we're going to cut those in half afterwards. To make the cutting easier, I'm going to first cut it in half and then into four pieces and then each piece into three pieces. And now cut each piece in two threes. Now do the same for the rest. Alright, I now have my 12 pieces of dough so we can work on twisting the rolls. So I'm going to take a piece. And to do this, you're also going to need something like a chopstick. I use a chopstick. You can use any type of slightly thicker stick that you can work with. Cut the dough in half, one piece slightly thicker than the other. Place the slightly thinner piece of dough on top of the thicker one. Then take a clean chopstick and press it straight down the middle. Don't press it all the way, about halfway is good. You just want to create a little bit of a 3D shape there. Then flip this piece over, place the chopstick down the middle, and you want to pinch the ends here together so it actually stays. Fold it in half, stretch it a little bit, and twist. Then press it down to secure. Once again, don't press it all the way and slowly slide the chopstick out. Alright, my cinnamon rolls are all nice and twisted up, so I'm going to set it aside and allow it to rise for around 15 minutes. Um, it usually doesn't take too long, but it will depend on the temperature of your room and where you put it. Once the dough has rised, once again, it has poofed up, place it into the oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around 10 minutes. The time that you cook it may vary depending on the size that you make the spread, so make sure to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. So that's how you make these cinnamon roll twists. If you want to make something a little bit different from the regular cinnamon rolls, this would be perfect for you. The process is really fun to make and it also comes out nice and delicious as well. I really hope you could try this out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye! If you want to see the video in full detail, I will link it somewhere around here. It could be here, it could be here, and it could be here. So somewhere around here. I don't know where I'm going to link it after.